Next one, we're going to talk about two sample independent heat procedure. Compared to the one we just covered, six middle managers sent to what? Summer session for professional skill. That one is called two sample dependent heat procedure. Dependent means what? For the same middle manager, his or her appraisal scope before the summer section and after summer section are, indep are not independent, are dependent. Lucky? Okay? That's why we call that two sample dependent heat procedure. This one is two sample independent heat procedure. That means X and Y, they are independent, okay? The example used to explain this procedure, uh, directly reading activities assessment, okay? Let's look at this together. An educator believes that the new directly reading activity in the classroom will help elementary school pupils improve some aspect of their reading ability. She arranged for a third grade of classroom, a class of 21 students, to take part in these activities for an eight-week period. A control classroom of 23rd third graders follows the same curriculum without the activities. So what is the treatment? You have a treatment, you have a control. What's the treatment? The treatment is what? The new direct reading activity hmm? in the classroom, okay? Now, at the end of the eight weeks, all students are given a degree of reading power test, or we say DRP test, which measure the aspect of reading ability that the treatment is designed to improve. The data appear in this table, okay? Let's take a quick look about the data. The treatment group, I call X. The control group, I call Y. And in particularly, what's the sample size for the treatment group? NX is 21. What's the size for the control group? NY is 23, okay? And what is our variable of interest? The variable of interest, X and Y. And what's X? Let X be the DRP test score of students who take part in new direct reading activities in the classroom for an eight-week period. This is what I call treatment group. And let Y be the DRP test scores of the student who follow the same curriculum without a new direct reading activity. This is a control group, okay? And let's see, what is our model assumption? We gotta click to the next page and take a quick look. Basic model assumptions of two sample procedure. First one, we assume x1, x2, up to x and x. In our example, nx is 21. This is a simple random sample from normal population, or precisely x1 follow what? Normal, huh? with mean mu x and variance sigma x squared. Both mu and mu x and sigma x, they are unknown to us in the most what? Real life application. Second model assumption, y1, y2, up to y and y. In our case, ny is 23. is a simple random sample from normal population. In particularly, y1 follow normal with mu y and sigma y squared. And the third model assumption is what? y and x are independent, okay? 